Today's third gen Ryzen processors are here. We've benchmarked them and pulled them apart to find out what makes them tick. And in this video, we've included everything you need to know about one of this year's most important product launches. One of the things that helps a new processor to stand out from the crowd is how it's made. And third gen Ryzen has pulled out all the stops, making the new CPUs from seven nanometer transistors. That's a big deal because most CPUs are still made using 12 nanometer or 14 nanometer transistors. And smaller transistors means more performance, features and higher efficiency. To save on cost, AMD still makes some of the less performance parts of the CPU, such as the IOD, from 12 nanometer transistors, but the all-important CCDs are made using this new 7 nanometer process. There's a new architecture too, codenamed Zen 2, which builds on the foundations of the original Zen and Zen Plus architectures. Key standouts for Zen 2 are an improved AVX256 unit that can now perform single op floating point calculations, a doubling of the micro op cache, a new branch predictor, and a doubling of the level three cache to 32 megabytes per CCD. All told, AMD claims these architectural improvements gives third gen Ryzen's 15% more instructions per clock than second gen Ryzen's. Couple that with higher clock speeds and you're in for a real treat. Finally, third gen Ryzen's are the first CPUs on the market to support PCIe 4.0. This doubles the transfer rate per lane from 985 megabytes per second to 1.97 gigabytes per second, unlocking more performance for compatible SSDs and GPUs, although we've yet to see any just now. There's also a new motherboard chipset, the X570, although you should be able to drop a third gen Ryzen processor into most X470, B450, X370 and B350 motherboards. Just check if there's a BIOS update available. You just won't be able to take advantage of PCIe 4.0. At launch, there are five new third gen Ryzen processors to choose between, ranging from the mid range Ryzen 5s, the high end Ryzen 7s, and an all new ultra high end Ryzen 9. The table that follows highlights the key specs of these new processors and includes second gen Ryzen processors for comparison. The new 3900X is AMD's first Ryzen 9 processor and ups the core count from 8 to 12 with an even more impressive 16 core model, the 3950X, due later this year. Meanwhile, the two new third gen Ryzen 7s, the 3800X and the 3700X, stick with the same 8 core recipe of the second gen, but as you can see, run at a higher clock speed and have double the level 3 cache. The new third gen Ryzen 5s also stick with the same six core recipe as the second gen equivalent, but get a worthwhile increase in clock speed, plus that huge new level three cache. Unfortunately, we only had time to test one of the new third gen Ryzen's, the Ryzen 3600, before we had to record this video. So we benchmarked it against Intel's ninth gen core CPUs, along with some older second gen Ryzen's to boot. To make the comparison as fair as possible, all the systems were tested in a very similar configuration, with the same CPU cooler, graphics card and RAM, with the full details on screen now. In the single-threaded Cinebench rendering benchmark, the new Ryzen 5 3600 zoomed past its predecessor, the Ryzen 2600, with a 21% faster score, a remarkable performance increase between two generations of processor. What's more, the Ryzen 5 3600 eased past the equivalent Intel Core i5 9600K. The multi-threaded version of Cinebench brought even more good news for AMD, with the Ryzen 5 3600 taking pole position, not only speeding past the more expensive previous generation Ryzen 7 2700, but also the Intel Core i7 9700K, a far more expensive processor. This shows that AMD's third gen Ryzen's are now a serious contender in the workstation market. AMD CPUs have lagged behind Intel's in-game performance for many years, but the CPU test in 3D Mark Time Spy shows that AMD has reversed the situation with the Ryzen 5 3600 proving 20% faster than the Ryzen 5 2600 and the Intel Core i5 9600K. 
Intel's CPUs have had the edge in single-threaded application and game performance for many years, and beating that was a principal target of AMD's third-gen Ryzen architecture, Zen 2. In addition to lots of new tweaks aimed at improving IPC, one of the most notable tools in Zen 2's box is doubling the level 3 cache, combined with an increase in clock speed and the introduction of Ryzen 9 processors with more cores. The new third-gen Ryzen's have a lot going for them. Our benchmark of the new Ryzen 5 3600 showed a marked improvement in both multi-threaded and single-threaded games and applications. This is good overall, showing in all of the benchmarks that the underlying Zen 2 architecture is a great all-rounder, something that AMD have struggled to deliver for many years. As such, the new third-gen Ryzen's are well worth looking at whether you're a gamer or a workstation user. Scan Computers sells the complete range of third-gen AMD Ryzen processors and X570 motherboards, whilst our expert engineers in 3XS systems can build you an awesome new Ryzen PC. Check out the full range at scan.co.uk. Thanks for watching this tech spec. Please let us know your thoughts on third-gen Ryzen processors in the comments section below.